Hi there, uh, I've not had a lot of experience with the uh, metal lathe and the milling machine uh, so today I thought I'd uh, set myself a little challenge and that is to make an M6 bolt um, I'm going to make it out of some round mild steel bar um, now I, I guess um, this is probably straightforward to a lot of you um, but it's something I've, I've not done and um, I'm not sure whether the method I'm going to use is the right way of doing it um, but we'll see how we get on so it's going to be something similar to this hopefully so these are the items that I think I need um, so I've got a piece of mild steel bar here that I think it's imperial but it comes in at just short of 13 millimeters in diameter and uh, there's a bit of um, turning I've, I've, I've done on that in the past um, but that's the end I'll be working on anyway so it doesn't really matter um, I've got a Stevenson's collet block there um, the hex one um, so that'll allow me to create the hex head and um, I've got the die holder I made recently for the lathe um, oh, I've got a collet there which is uh, 13 millimeters, um, and I've got a die which is an M6. So what I've decided to do is to uh, create the uh, hex head first of all. Um, now this is a 12 millimeter cutter, um, which is far too wide for the head, but um, it, it'll do, uh, I think, for this particular process and um, the diameter of this bar is actually 12 millimeters I've turned it down previously to 12 now the um, size of the hex head is uh, 10 millimeters across so effectively I need to take off one millimeter on this side then I'll switch the um, collet block around um, a full 180 degrees and then I'll do the other side and I'll check the measurements so let's see how we get on so um, I've locked the x-axis I've zeroized the DRO and I'll cut in increments of 10 thou so let's see how it goes Putting it at a thousand RPM. So I've just gone down uh, at point seven three of a millimeter. So I don't want to go too far, so I'll switch it round and do the same. Now I've just realised that um, I've not um, fixed the position of this collet block, so the collet block can move sort of sideways. Um, so I need to think about how to resolve that problem. Okay, so uh, before switching the collet block around, um, I just put some felt tip marks here. Um, it's not crucial that is this is 100% accurate um, so I've just switched the block around and lined it up with these marks I suppose if it was um, something that needed high precision I'd have to put some kind of a stop on here but anyway I, I think we're okay uh, at the moment I've um, raised the uh, z-axis again uh, gone back to zero and then moved it down um, 10 thou so I'll um, cut again uh, down to I think it was 0.73 of a millimetre sorry about mixing up my millimetres and my uh, imperials <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, so uh, I've cut this down to 0.73 of a millimetre. So in theory, um, this thickness should be more than 10 millimetres. Should be about 10.5 in theory. It's actually 10.3, so uh, we need to take uh, 0.15 off uh, each side. interesting didn't seem to uh, take in take much more off on that let's have another look okay I don't think I'd seated it properly that's more like it Okay, so uh, that's perfect. Um, it's spot on uh, 10 millimeters. So I'm going to do the other four sides using the same method. So I'm going to go from zero down to 0.88 of a millimeter each time. Well, I must say I'm very pleased with that. Um, spot on. So on to the next stage. So this needs to be turned down to um, six millimeters in diameter. Again, um, I'll be cutting at increments of ten thou RPM of about a thousand. Okay, so I'm just going to tidy up these edges that are a bit sharp, so I'll just take a couple of thou off.
very happy with that so far. Okay, so this is uh, my homemade uh, die holder um, that I made in one of my other videos. And um, it's just attached to the chuck here, so it slides up and down. And uh, it's just a matter of holding on to this and giving it a turn. Well, this is the uh, scary bit for me. Um, I've only tried parting off once before, and it was a disaster. Um, but that was before I'd uh, installed the carriage lock and the compound slide locks. So they're all locked down. Um, the only thing that can move is the cross slide now, I hope. Um, so we'll give it a try. Well, that doesn't seem to be cutting anything. Okay, so what I'll do is um, I'll put it in the vise and just cut it off with a hacksaw, then reverse it and do the finishing. Okay, so I've uh, just hacked it off with the hacksaw and uh, I'll just uh, finish it off now. Well, that was an interesting little exercise, and uh, I'm really, really happy with the result. Um, so, what have I learned? Um, a couple of things, really. Um, this Stevenson's collet block, um, I thought was fantastic. Um, I've got both the square and the hex version, uh, but I'm over the moon with the way that worked. And uh, when I was thinking about buying one, um, I did have concerns that it wouldn't fit in my vise uh, properly because my vise jaws are only uh, 30 millimeters high. And I was concerned that the side of the Stevenson's block might be a lot higher. Um, there was a guy on the uh, Model Engineers uh, website, uh, very kindly, um, answered a query that I put on there, very quickly actually, and uh, he, he sort of provided all the um, sort of sizes, so um, I knew prior to buying it that it would fit. Um, but anybody out there thinking of buying one, um, the E25 collet block, the Stevenson's one, um, these are the dimensions. 
So if you can make that out, so as it's standing um, upright in the vise, um, you just need 30 millimeters height of the jaws for it to um, attach to both, fully attach to both sides. And uh, the homemade die holder I made, first time I've used it, um, it was brilliant. Uh, really, really happy with that. Um, lastly, um, parting off disaster really. And um, I'm not too sure what's going on there, but the um, parting off tool I use is that. And I think in hindsight, for my old steel, um, I don't think I got the speed right. I usually cut at around about, for something of that diameter, around about a thousand RPM. Um, but I think I was a bit nervous about the whole procedure. I think I probably slowed the RPM down. Um, which is probably why I just didn't even think about cutting. But if anybody's got any advice and uh, suggestions on how to use that properly, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, I hope you'll like the video and um, the results. Like I say, I'm really, really happy with it. Hope you'll like it. Oh, and if anybody's any suggestions on uh, how to make a bolt properly, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, but uh, thanks again for watching.